Okay, so I'm just going to have to read it to you like this. It was not going to work the way I had it. Okay. A day in Helena. The city of Helena prides itself on the diverse and fun field activities it has to offer. Whether you're staying for a weekend, there is nowhere to stay. Or just passing through for the day. No one would either. No one would be passing through either because we're like 20 miles from the interstate. Here are some activities we recommend for everyone. There's a concert. All right, stop one. Right out the gate, we're going to Oversaw Brewing. Brewing. Right at the brewery. Never mind, it's like 10 in the morning. We're headed there. By the way, it's a small town, and one time this guy's dog was lost, and there was like a search party, and I was in the search party. Anyway, so after the brewery, we're going to stagger over across the street to the Caboose Welcome Center, which, by the way, is a puzzle library. And my primary memory of that caboose is when I was nannying and Millie, like, went under it and then came up too soon and smashed her head. A staple in the Helena community. The red caboose serves as a welcome center landmark to all who enter Helena. Sure it does. So after brewery and caboose, we are again going to cross the street and go right down to Day Soul Coffee. These people are super nice. I don't like coffee, but they're super nice people. Um, local coffee is the best coffee, in our opinion. Okay. I won't disagree. Now we're going to get in our car and drive down to Cabo Lily Park. Cabo Lily Park offers a walking trail, playground, picnic areas, and even offers shaded pavilions with grills for entertaining friends. Yeah, that's just it's just a basic playground. All right, so after Cabo Lily Park, we're going to get back in the car, go down the street to Brown Sugar Desserts. That really is good. Um, I can't argue with that. So we've had alcohol, coffee, and now we're having a cinnamon roll. Then for whatever cursed reason on this earth, we go to Helena Sports Complex. Helena Sports Complex is used for like the school baseball games. It says there's always something fun to do at the Helena Sports Complex. No, there literally is not. Line dancing classes for seniors. Sign me the heck up. Then, okay, that was an action-packed morning. We've already had two drinks and... Uh, cinnamon roll. Now we're finally having lunch. So we are going right back to where we started. We're going to the caboose. We're having lunch at the depot. The depot is next to the caboose. This place is good. It was the old train station. Whatever. This quaint and delicious deli offers a diverse menu. No, it doesn't. It's literally hamburgers and hot dogs. Then we're going to walk down to the street to the Helena Museum. If you're looking for a fun place to spend an hour or two, or if you're my mother, three. True story. All right, so we must have spent a really long time at the Helena Museum because we had lunch at the depot, Helena Museum, and now all of a sudden it's cocktail hour. So cocktails on the porch at Beef O' Brady's. They have a wide variety of drinks and cocktails for you to choose from. So we've come full circle. We're ending the day the way we began. But wait, there's more. We go to Refined to Go for dinner. Um, funny fact, when my fish died, my boss was all concerned because I was like crying in my office. And I've, I've cried at work a lot. And he got me refined to go because he didn't know what else to do. And um, ironically, I had fish tacos. Anyway, this is where this is <clears throat> this is the kicker. Helena sunsets. If you're looking for a special way to end your day, Helena is known for breathtaking sunsets. No, it is not. Unless you live in Helena, you don't even know what Helena is. You don't even know how to pronounce it. Popular destinations to take in the tremendous view include Helena High School, Buck Creek Park, and Joe Tucker Park. That's like, that is the dumbest thing I have ever heard in my life. 